Hi there, today we shall be reading the 31st book of my Thomas Story Library. Book 31, Harry and Bert, based on the Railway series by the Rev. W. Audrey, illustrations by Robin Davis and Jerry Smith. To the trains. This is a story about Ari and Bert, the Diesels. They like playing tricks on the steam engines and getting them into trouble. But one Halloween, their trick backfired. It was Halloween on the island of Sodor. The engines were enjoying picking up passengers dressed as monsters, witches, and wizards. Thomas and Emily were going on a night run that evening. They were collecting iron trucks from Ari and Bert at the smelter's yard, which had to be delivered to the harbor before sunrise. Percy thought Halloween was scary, so he was glad that he had not been chosen for the job. At the end of the day, the tired engines returned to Didmouth sheds. It was now time for Thomas and Emily to go on their night run. Be careful at the smelter's yard, Percy warned. It can be rather dark and creepy there after dark. There's nothing to be afraid of, said Thomas confidently. There's no such things as ghosts. Ghosts are just silly make-believe, Emily added as they steamed away. Thomas and Emily raced across the island. They liked traveling at night, passing owls and foxes as they went. Peep peep, it seems quieter than ever tonight. Thomas said to Emily, It's very dark too, Emily said a little timidly. By the time they reached the smelter's yard, Emily felt a little nervous. She looked for Ari and Bert, but couldn't see them anywhere. She thought they must be in the smelter's shed, so she made her way towards it with Thomas following behind. There's no need to worry, Thomas said as he and Emily moved through the dark yard. But then they heard a huge crash. What's that? Emily shouted fearfully. The wind must have knocked something over, Thomas replied, but he didn't believe that was true. His pistons rattled as he trembled. He didn't feel so brave anymore. Hiding in the shadows, Ari and Bert smiled. Bert pushed an oil drum, causing it to crash to the ground. Thomas and Emily jumped as they heard it, and as they passed the hiding diesels, Ari and Bert moaned and groaned like scary ghosts. Cinders and ashes, Thomas said in surprise. This place is haunted, cried Emily as she rushed towards the shed. She wanted to fetch the trucks and leave the scary place as soon as possible. In the shed, Emily saw the trucks they had come to collect. She moved towards them without noticing a white sheet hanging from the ceiling above her. As she passed underneath, it caught on her fender and suddenly fell on her. Arg! she cried. A ghost has caught me! She raced to the door, trying to get away from it. When Thomas saw what looked like a ghost engine coming towards him, he forgot about the iron trucks and ran away. Emily, covered by the sheets, raced after him. Harry and Bert were waiting outside. They were looking forward to laughing at Thomas and Emily for being such scaredy engines. But when they saw Thomas being chased by a ghost engine, they were scared too. Oh no, there really is a ghost, cried Harry. Let's get out of here, shouted Bert, and they turned and fled. Harry, Bert, and Thomas raced across the island, followed by the ghost engine. As they neared Tidmouth Sheds, Thomas frantically whistled to wake the other Indians. Yawning loudly, Percy said, Whatever is the matter, Thomas? There's a ghost engine after us, cried Thomas. Look, here it comes. Everyone gasped when they saw it approaching. They couldn't believe their eyes. But as the ghost went under a signal, the corner of the street caught on it, and as Emily rushed forward, a sheet fell to the ground behind her. It looks like Emily is your ghost, giggled Percy. 
as the other engines all laughed. Ari, Bert, and Thomas felt very foolish. Emily was just relieved that there was no ghost after all. The fat controller came to the shed to find out what was happening. Thomas told him about the spooky noises that had made him and Emily think the smelter's yard was haunted. So when the sheet fell on me, I thought it really was a ghost. Emily said with a smile. Do you know anything about this? The fat controller asked. Ari and Bert, who meekly nodded. In that case, he said, you will deliver the trucks to the harbor tonight and will... When while the, you're doing that, you can think about all the trouble your trick has caused. Ari and Bert apologized to the fat controller and set off to the smelter's yard to fetch the trucks. As they disappeared into the distance, the steam engines heard them arguing about whose idea it would win. Now we've established that there are no ghosts, we can all go back to sleep, the fat controller said to the other engines. The engines were relieved that there were no ghosts, but they all agreed it would be a long time before they forgot the sight of Emily, the ghost engine.